Greetings, students. As you're going through your course selection process, I, Mr. Blicky, thought I would help you out a little bit with AP Chemistry by answering what I consider to be the top 10 questions about AP Chemistry. Question one, is it hard? Well, I would say that the class is rigorous. Um, you're going to see a more mathematical treatment of topics in Chemistry AP than you see in Chemistry 1. Uh, we're going to take a deeper look at certain topics that you study in Chemistry 1. For example, in Chemistry 1, you probably learned about the Honk 1, 2, 3, 4 rule. In Chemistry AP, you'll learn about why that works. Um, so there will be a deeper treatment of topics, and it's challenging, but um, the goal is for it to be interesting so that it's worth studying. Um, a good thing to ask yourself is, are you willing to dedicate the time, resourcefulness, and studying, you know, sort of flexibility in order to take on a rigorous chemistry class? Question two. How much homework? So, on average, you should expect half an hour to two hours per night, but that's going to vary student by student. Um, a good thing to do would be to talk to a couple of Chemistry AP students who are currently in the class. That can sort of help you gauge um, how realistic the amount of homework time you're willing to dedicate to the class and to being successful in the class is. Question three. Is there summer homework? Yes. There are two assignments. Uh, they're to be submitted online, and your records for those assignments are to be brought to class the first day. Um, I actually hold an end-of-the-year meeting with all students who have enrolled in the class for the next school year uh, to talk about that assignment in detail. In general, it's about 10 to 15 hours over the course of the entire summer for those two assignments. So the idea is that if you don't use it, you lose it. So you need your brain to still be uh, in chemistry mode so that we can hit the ground running on day one because we have a lot to learn in a very short time. So there is a ho summer homework assignment, but it's not an extremely time-consuming one. All right. Question four. What do we study? So in Chemistry AP, we try to study the big questions of chemistry. When we mix two things, will a chemical reaction happen? If so, how fast will it happen? When it does, how many products will it produce? These are sort of like the, the fundamental questions that, that chemistry seeks to answer. So we'll learn a lot about those fundamental questions in a great deal of detail. Um, we'll start with stoichiometry. That's something that uh, you may be starting to study right now, or maybe you studied it a little bit earlier in the year. Um, and then we'll move from there to learning about chemical reactions. We'll learn about oxidation reduction. Um, kinetics and equilibrium are two topics that are big parts of the, of the class. Question five. What is a typical student like? Well, I would say there isn't one. Um, in general, students who are successful in chemistry AP are hardworking, they're resourceful, they're reflective, um, and they're interested in chemistry. Chemistry AP is a class that's a lot of work, so I don't think it would be worth it unless you wanted to learn a lot about chemistry. Um, you want to become one of these super experts in chemistry because in reality, the AP chemistry students in the school, you're like the students who know the most about chemistry out of 2,400 um, fellow students. So if you want to be that person, you are a typical AP chemistry student. Question six. How will I be graded in AP Chemistry? So I use the 4321 system. If you've had me before, um, it's a similar system. If you had Ms. Markowitz or you've taken a physics class, it's, it's based off of those systems. So um, quizzes are called surveys, and uh, they are non-cumulative. You don't add up to an average, but rather they are a measure that you can use to improve. They can tell you how you're doing, but they don't count for your final grade. Um, term exams are important. Lab reports are important. I check homework just about it, um, and I also rely on doing Cordell-style notes. That's something that you may have done in your other classes, or that may be new to you in AP Chemistry. Either way, you would learn about it when you were in the class.
Question, question seven. Uh, how many labs per term? Uh, so the laboratory is a very important part of uh, AP chemistry. Um, you should expect to have three labs and subsequently three lab reports per term. Um, depending on which labs they are, it's going to take up between six and ten days of the term. So it's going to be somewhere, you know, between like 15 and 30 percent of your classroom hours will be spent in the lab. And um, we'll get to use lots of uh, more specific chemistry equipment. Um, I consider the equipment that we at Boston Latin School use in Chemistry 1 classes to be among the fundamental chemistry equipment. We'll get to use some of the cooler, more elaborate sort of chemistry bric-a-brac in uh, Chemistry AP. So you'll learn how to use um, some more stuff. Keep doing that. Question 8. Um, the AP exam. Uh, will we be prepared for the AP exam by taking Chemistry AP? Um, so my approach to this is to make sure that students learn lots of chemistry at a rigorous level, and therefore you will be prepared for the AP exam. Um, I do not recommend that you buy prep books. I recommend that you come to school and you get the textbook that um, we have for the class, which I consider to be a good textbook. I provide lots of online resources that are really good, but I want you to keep a really good notebook. Um, if you're doing all of these things, you are preparing for the AP exam. But the AP exam is something to become concerned with in like April or May of 2012, not August or September of 2011. Um, come to school ready to learn and um, you will be preparing yourself for the AP exam. Do grades in AP chemistry class line up with performance on the AP exam? Um, in theory, yes they should. Uh, I consider students who get an A in class to be on the level of someone who should get a 5 on the AP exam. People who get a B in the class should be shooting for a 4, etc. Um, so if you are performing well in my class, you should expect that with study and review and lots of thinking and lots of rest the night before, that you do well on the AP exam as well. Question 10. All right, so of course, students are going to want to know do I know any good chemistry jokes? Not only do I know a good chemistry joke, I have a good chemistry joke on my t-shirt. So, the joke says, Willie was a chemist, now Willie is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4. Oh yeah. So if you're laughing right now, you may be somebody who is a good fit for chemistry AP. Um, so, in conclusion, uh, if you have further questions, feel free to stop by 318 before school or after school. I'd be happy to answer any specific questions that you have. Um, seek out students who are currently enrolled in the class. They're the best resource that you could have. And um, if you are interested in taking Chemistry AP, I hope you choose to take the class. And I look forward to seeing you in the fall, if that is the case.